And today we're talking about pain. When I attended medical school, I was taught that MS didn't cause pain. Quite literally, my professor taught me that. And my professor was wrong. Howdy everyone, Aaron Boster here, and thanks for learning about MS with me. I want to go through some vocabulary, and there's a lot of words that we use to describe pain, so I want to teach you about them. Now, why am I going over all these doctor words with you? I want to educate and empower you to understand what doctors are saying. If you're reading a report that your doctor wrote, they may use words like dysesthesia, paresthesia, allodynia, dyspareunia, and I want you to be familiar with them. So we're just going through a couple of vocab words right now to help up your game and your medical knowledge as it relates to pain. The, when we say neuropathic pain, what we mean is pain coming from the nervous system. So pain coming from brain, spinal cord, uh, peripheral nerves, all of that would be lumped into this concept of neuropathic pain. And neuropathic pain is different than other forms of pain. Most of the pain that we deal with in the setting of MS is neuropathic. The next term I want to talk, talk to you about is dysesthesia. You know, that word dysesthesia means painful sensation, something that hurts, an abnormal sensation that hurts. And it could be a burning pain, a sharp pain, a dull pain, an electric pain, a cold pain, a cramping pain, a crushing pain. Those are all descriptors of dysesthesia. It's an uncomfortable sensation. One of the most um, confusing and frustrating dysesthesias that I see in my clinic is actually pathologic itching. So someone will have crazy itching and they itch like nuts. That's actually a type of neuropathic pain. It's a dysesthetic pain. So dysesthesia is a word that I want you to be familiar with. Now the term paresthesia means numb and tingly. So it's not a painful sensation but it's an abnormal sensation. So if you've ever smacked your funny bone, actually, I just did it right now, and this part of your hand kind of tingles, that's a paresthesia. And damage to the brain and spinal cord can cause dysesthesias and can cause paresthesias. The next term I want to teach you is allodynia. Allodynia means that light touch hurts. So when someone touches your skin gently, it shouldn't hurt. It should feel like a light touch. When light touch hurts, we call that allodynia. The next one is dyspareunia means pain with intercourse. So the act of sexual intercourse hurts. And um, that's one that obviously is particularly bothersome to people. Um, the next term is urticaria. Urticaria is the doctor term for itching. So a noxious stimulation would be like getting socked in the face or um, would be like uh, a hangnail that's digging into your skin, or a decubitus ulcer. These are noxious stimulations. So just very brief uh, kind of level setting some of the words that you may hear doctors use. I, I share that with you in case you're reading a report from a doctor or you're overhearing a, a medical conversation. These are some of the words that they may use to describe some of what's going on. Thank you so much for listening in. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. And if you're a subscriber, ring the notifications bell so that when I jump online to do a live stream, it alerts you and lets you know. So until my next time on the internet, my name is Aaron Boster, and I want to thank you so much for learning about MS with me. Take care and have an awesome weekend.